Getting you inside Southern California Comics on a Monday, getting you ready for Comic-Con. Now, a lot of the comics that are coming in and out of here are some of the oldest that you will ever see and worth quite a bit of money. So, Jamie, talk to me about you guys getting ready for Comic-Con. You're the owner of this shop. And by the way, this is like a museum in here. There is so much to see. What do you guys do right now? We're prepping for our load in tomorrow. I've got eight employees and 12 other helpers to get us all packed up. Because tomorrow morning at uh, about 9 o'clock, we'll have three or four trucks out here. And busy as bees getting ready to take that stuff downtown. Yeah, it's going to be so much fun to see everything down there. I mean, these are some of the originals. Talk about this one right here. Well, that is uh, the most expensive comic we currently have in there. It is a uh, signed copy by Stan Lee of X-Men number one. And cool. we have a price tag on it of $17,000. $17,000. Do you think you will sell something like that at Comic-Con or people just want to see it? There are going to be a lot of looky-loos. A lot of people want to handle it. But we had success last time with a almost identical copy. We sold that one for 16000 At some point, do you not want to get rid of something like that, though, especially being a collector? It must be hard to say goodbye to some of these, even for thousands of dollars. Well, to give 31 flavors a plug, even those guys get tired of ice cream. <laughs> so, so, yeah, I, I don't mind cutting loose. Okay, I see. Can I take everyone into this room over here before sure. we go? You know, for people who are maybe just moving to San Diego or learning about Comic-Con, it didn't used to always be pop culture and about the movies and the hit TV shows. It started in the basement of the U.S. Grand Hotel in 1970 with 300 people, and this is what it's all about. This is the bread and butter. You know, comic books are where it's at. Well, for us, they are. We're not the boutique comic book store model that has gaming and toys and a lot of other interactive stuff. We are the ones who began with vintage books and continue for, now it's 26 years yeah. doing this. So much to find in here. And um, we're going to talk a little bit more about Comic-Con and uh, show you some of the uh, museums, so to speak, of comics here right in Claremont. I'll